As part of the apocalypse, we will experience extreme weather conditions, including, but not limited to, earthquakes. Okay. Tsunamis. Hurricanes. Tornadoes. Mudslides, massive flooding. And fire. You have to be ready to respond quickly in any of these situations. This is your apocalyptic weather survival guide. Whether or not you can survive, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure we do survive. Today we'll be dis today we'll be continuing to discuss fire safety. This is level two. This is the advanced course. You ready? Hmm. This concrete platform is all that remains after a massive house fire that could not be contained. However, one thing that did stay structurally intact was this emergency shelter area made out of bricks. Hopefully this came, or hopefully this kept whoever tried to stay safe, sheltered from the fire. Do you think they survived? At the conclusion of this, you should be able to size up and extinguish a small fire using safety precautions. Also, you should be able to identify hazardous materials in the community and at home and reduce potential utility fires. The topics we'll, we will be discussing are included and not limited to fire chemistry, including the fire triangle and classes of fire. Considerations for sizing up a fire. Firefighting resources including portable extinguishers and basic available resources. Whoops, that was backwards, wasn't it? Anyways, firefighting resources, as well as fire suppression safety. Safety, safety, safety. I must emphasize safety, safely. Okay, and that includes using the buddy system, using safety equipment, and suppressing fire as a team. Okay, we will also be discussing fire and utility hazards, including electrical, natural gas, and flammable liquids, and hazardous materials including the identification and defensive strategies. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Okay, when you have time, please go to the national website, www fema.gov slash c-e-r-t once again that is www.fema.gov slash c-e-r-t watch the free video the free fire safety video also please go to ready.gov that's ready.gov and order the free resource book at c-e-r-t and that stands for Community Emergency Response Team. That's Community Emergency Response Team. So order the free participant manual. Seriously. You get that. Okay, if you have your CERT participant manual, also known as the Apocalyptic Weather Survival Guide, please flip to Unit 6. fire safety and utility controls. Remember, during severe fire emergency, the first priority of emergency responders are life, safety, incident stabilization, and 
priority conservation. Also, you have to take into consideration limited access to road, weather conditions, inadequate water supply, and limited resources may interfere with emergency response time and may slow the response of responders, which should be immediately prompt. I must stress the importance of responding immediately, immediately, before they become a major fire before they become a major fire. And as a basic rule, if you can't put out a fire in five seconds, get out of there. Professionals warn that you should leave the premises immediately. Evacuate. Vamanos! And make sure the fire is extinguished completely and permanently. Also, procedures for conducting evacuations are not completely covered in this course. And I recommend that you study independently as supplemental training. Okay, let's begin with Unit 6 in the CERT Participant Manual. Emergency responders protect the lives of others and also help each other as a team effort. And CERT volunteers play an important role in neighborhood safety. When responding to emergencies, safety is a priority. Therefore, buddies can serve an important purpose. And they do. Protecting each other's safety. Stick together at all times. Wearing the proper safety equipment. If possible, of course.